hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel guys welcome on today we'll be having a chit chat we'll be talking about a lot of things that is happening in the street of social media i will always say in every nonsense there is a sense you just have to listen to it non-judgmental and get facts that will help you achieve a long life uh, journey we are in this life for the first time we are here for the first time no one is perfect everyone is trying to navigate life no one has ever been here to say oh i have 20 years experience i've not seen a baby that said mm, i have 10 years experience i've been in this life before so this is my second time coming to this life so i am more experienced than you so when i talk you listen everyone here is new to life we are navigating life we're experiencing life for the first time sometimes we make mistakes sometimes we talk out of point but in as much as we are making mistake we are talking out of point that is actually lessons in between our mistakes they're actually uh, sense in our nonsense so just listen to this because I want us to talk about what have been happening in the street of social media between angela if you don't know angela i'll pray to put their picture angel angela uh zubi Mike and junior pope all this saga happened after the demise of junior pope so this discussion is because of one person like the death of one person is bringing out so many secrets from left to right and center and i'm like why don't we talk about it why don't we learn from people mistake what they've talked about let's not let's not put blames let's not start blaming people let's talk about it let's get lessons out of their mistakes let's get lesson out of their rubbish let's learn something so in here i'll be dissecting everything i have seen on social media ways that has touched me that have made me learn and see life in a different way i'll be talking about it so just sit relax and i'll be right back so yes guys i am back so let's talk about it i'm going to be giving a little summary of what i have seen on instagram that has triggered me to reflect on myself do things differently so after the death of junior pope a lot of celebrity gave their condolence by posting by talking about it in their story i will always say people grieve differently people uh, feel pain differently just because uh, I am not crying doesn't mean I'm not in pain just because I am screaming I'm not screaming doesn't mean I'm not in pain just because I'm crying and screaming doesn't mean I'm overreacting so everyone have a way they express themselves when angry when happy like we are different and that is what makes us unique so and uh, after the death of Junior Pope a lot of celebrity gave their condolences in best way they could and visited the immediate families and share photos pictures like everyone did what they have to do that is best to them why some didn't post because of course it's hard to believe but with time they came out to give their condolence but what's really made me will i say indifference or sad i don't know is angela angel coming out to attack zubi Mike. so if you do not know zubi Mike and junior pope were friends like years back to the extent that they were so close that zubi Mike was junior pope best man like that was how close they were but things happen, shit happen, change happen, and they fell out of friendship, and they keep their cool apart. So after the death of Junior Pope, Angel, same fit, like she came out and feel like, oh, this is the right time for me to put you in your place. And she started saying that Junior Pope is Zubi boss, and Zubi not coming out to give condolence to, to, uh, to the family of 
uh, Junior Pope and not respecting him to post him on his page is wrong. Like she said a lot of shitty things, a lot of trash about him, about him on her, uh, her story, her Instagram story. And I'm like, why are you coming out? Like these people, why Junior Pope was alive? He's doing my care. And Junior Pope were living their life. Like whatever happened and they decide to keep it to themselves because at this point there's no need for the Mike to come up and tell us why they they fell out of friendship or why they have been quarreling because of course there's always two sides of the story. Since one person is not alive to share his story, just keep quiet. But Angel coming out to talk about things like what is your business? What is your business? Like give condolence to the family. Pay last respect to this person. If you want to post uh, junior pope in your story 247 on your um your post 247 go ahead and you attacking zubi mike that he's not posting he did not post junior pope blah 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 talking out of point is like it's not necessary like this person was alive i didn't post this per guy on his birthday i didn't post him when he built his house i didn't post him when he welcomed his uh, his last child like I didn't congratulate him. I didn't post him in his wins. Why will I post him when he's dead? Why like this is not the right time for you to start talking about what happened like years back If you did not talk about it, why the both of them were alive? Why are you talking about it now? When you know that Zubi Michael cannot defend himself at this point because no one knows what actually caused the fight between them so with you coming out to throw finger at one person knowing that one is dead what do you want him to say like he will be living in regret do you think he's happy like this man was close to my heart he's dead there will be a lot of regrets in Rebecca head like why are we even quarreling what is the essence of life why did I not forgive him if maybe uh, junior pope offended him why did i not forgive him why did i not go to him to beg for forgiveness since i offended him why like there'll be a lot of regret in his heart at this point that why did i let this get to this point that i cannot reverse any decision i cannot reverse anything now he is gone i can only talk to god i can only beg god for forgiveness i can only speak to my heavenly father because at this point there will be a lot of regret so angel i don't see why you're coming out to talk about something that have happened between a dead and, a, and someone that is alive knowing the fact that if zubi mike can start talking about what actually happened you'll be like oh your clutch chaser you are lying because i will always say there's two sides to every story i hear from you i hear from me even from me if there's a situation where i cannot hear the other side of the person's story I am not judging anybody sorry i'm just going to console you and tell you oh everything is, is going to be okay and if i see that person that you talk to me about i'm going to still talk to the person until i am ready to hear your story and hear the other person's story and able to and i'm not hearing it differently though you must be in front of me if i cannot bring you here and bring the other person like i'll be seeing you face to face to talk about what actually happened you talk what, what did this person do to you what did this person do to you I am not going to support anybody. I'm going to be by your side, by your side whenever you need me, but I'm not judging anyone. So at this point, there's no need coming talking about things that have happened years back. Like Junior Pope was alive. Zubi Michael was alive. Why didn't you talk about it when they were alive? Why are you talking it now? Okay. The time uh, Junior Pope posted his house. So we might did not even congratulate him. Why didn't you talk about it and say, Oh, your boss built house, you could not even congratulate him? Oh, at least that point, one person can talk and explain why I did not congratulate. This is what this person did to me. And that person will be like, Me, I did that. Like, there will be a banter. Will I say banter, not banter? Like, there will be a back and forth explanation from both parties because they are saying it, they are live, they are. They are, they are listening to what is happening and they are there to defend yourself whenever shit is talk about them or lies are being told about them like they come out and defend yourself so at this point i don't see why she's talking about it so what i learned in this is there is nothing in this life if you're watching this video and anyone has offended you or you've offended anyone 
go and ask for forgiveness in cases where you don't want to maybe someone offend you and you like it's so obvious this person offend me the best thing you can do is kneel beside your creator your bed talk to your creator talk to who you believe who you trust talk to god for me i believe in god god is my number one I go beside my bed, I talk to God and I say, God, give me that spirit of forgiveness. To be able to forgive and let go of everything. I don't want to go to hell because of one person. Like two of us are quarreling. One person die. Only one person has the opportunity to reflect and be like, why was I even quarreling with this person? God, I beg, forgive me. Oh. You understand? And that person has a higher chance of going to meet the father than you while holding grudges. You know where they are going to now. So at this point, I have learned to let go of things. Like, as long as you are not hurting me, you are not using knives to pierce me, you are not, like, you are not ruining my life, I will forgive you go but i will not give you that chance to hurt me again i will forgive you i will talk to you whenever i see you i will congratulate you when needs be i will wish you well but bringing you back to my life to hurt me again i will not mm -mm. that's me forgiving you and bringing you back to my life to hurt me is foolishness <laughs> it's foolishness so i will not let that so this story have actually opened my eyes to forgiveness forgiveness is bittersweet like it's bitter the first step but along the line is sweet because you're living your life freely like you are just open-minded to the will of god experiencing life in a greater level nothing is withholding your blessing when god wants to bless you like the devil have nothing on you like is this who you want to bless someone i cannot forgive so this life has taught me to just let go of things like why am i holding grudges i let go of things let life be so that incident has actually taught me a lot and i will want you to reflect on your life reflect on what has been happening in your life and make the right decisions forgive let go apologize i will always say pride and delay is man's greatest enemy proud pride will not let you do the right thing delay will make bad things happen you understand like between these two grown-ups these two men something happened like they did not just decide to be enemies overnight one thing happened one person offend the other but one thing would have actually corrected them apology would have actually like one person apologizing to one would have actually corrected them and in cases where apologies were made but pride made you look bigger than the other person affected the relationship forgiveness is bittersweet but the end result is golden the end result is sweet i will always say forgive but don't give people the opportunity to hurt you back forgive with wisdom forgive with sense and i will see you guys in my next video for now remain blessed bye bye